Salut les amis, ici Chaotique et on se retrouve pour le, la deuxième partie sur l'épisode 1, A New Day de The Walking Dead. Et oui, ça y est, attendu au moins une semaine avant de sortir la partie 2. Et on va tout de suite se retrouver dans, dans cet univers magnifique. Alors, la dernière fois, on s'était quitté par une mort tragique, la mort de la nourrice de Clémentine. Alors là, j'espère... Euh, pour ceux qui ne connaissent pas, leur faire découvrir quand même cette atmosphère tendue, cette atmosphère glauque, et je vais essayer de vous vendre du rêve. Ceux qui n'ont pas vu la première vidéo, je les redirige vers ma première vidéo, qui franchement, a été pas mal du tout. Là, j'ai fait un petit peu de progrès, et là, c'est parti pour, le, pour la deuxième partie de cette vidéo. Allez Donc, euh, je le dis un petit peu dans, dans la première vidéo, ce qui s'est passé, c'est que notre ami ici euh, était euh, embarqué par une, par une voiture de police. Cette voiture de police a eu un petit accident et euh, quand euh, il s'est réveillé, parce qu'il était un peu sonné, il s'était réveillé et là, il a vu un petit peu euh, euh, les dégâts de la voiture et aussi il a vu l'officier par terre. Pour lui, il lui semblait mort, mais en réalité, quand il est arrivé sur le canal pour voir ce qui s'était passé, le corps s'est réveillé. Et oui, ensuite, etc., les zombies sont arrivés car elle a tiré un coup de feu qui a permis aux zombies de, de réagir et de, de lui courir après. Donc, et il s'était blessé, on, le, on voit toujours qu'il boite un petit peu. Bon, mais on va essayer d'avancer pour trouver des soins, pour trouver de l'aide. Hop et là, je suis en compagnie de Clémentine. Oh, oh man. I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot this night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. But for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. I've been seeing anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Les voilà. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Allez, pousse, pousse, garçon, pousse. Allez, pousse encore. Vite, 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 vite. Où est le gars Voilà. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents are you a tip. Et un petit peu sauver l'affaire. Un petit peu.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. <laughs> we just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. <laughs> okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Merci le vieux de me soigner la jambe. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. Mop. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? Oui. The girl. Nobody. Nobody. Is oui, that so? Mentir. Yeah. It is. Jamais. You said we. Oui. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. And we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. I wouldn't worry too oh, much. We're pretty far from the city. Seems like that's where it's the worst. Oh, my yeah. God. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. <laughs> Come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably <laughs> just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Il se méfie un petit peu des gens qui l'accueillent. All right then. Moi, je dirais, c'est normal. Plus qu'il est dehors, je dirais quand même pas. It smells like. I know what it smells like. Duty. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, 
OK。We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Annie. Je vais essayer de me dépêcher, les amis, car j'ai quelque chose à vous montrer. <rire> On va pas se laisser comme ça dans une bonne petite scène d'action. Donc, je vais, je vais essayer de me dépêcher. Pour vous montrer cette scène. Oh là 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 là. Magique Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. Oh. You'll figure it out. See you. Hey there, girls. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bytes to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. 
Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, it's kill, be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Allez. C'est de me dépêcher pour vous montrer ça. Voilà. <clears throat> you should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a yes, Enfin, je vais vous montrer une scène. Et le gosse qui bouge pas. Et là, parce qu'il a écrit un seul détecteur. Le gosse qui se fait emporter. Alors, à, à gosse. À gosse. Allez, non, quand même, j'ai pitié du gosse. Hein. Et voilà <rire> Et voilà, il se fait tout tuer Donc quand même, j'ai préféré sauver l'enfant, hein. Get 
Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help. I was worried about the boy. Look at him. <laughs> but you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Okay. <laughs> Allez, ils doivent s'en aller. Bon, les amis, c'est sur cette mort tragique que je vous laisse aujourd'hui sur l'épisode 1, partie 2. Surtout, n'hésitez pas à me laisser des commentaires, à vous abonner à la chaîne et à liker la vidéo. Et je vous dis à la prochaine pour de futures vidéos. Allez, à ciao, bye bye